Hi everyone. So today we have the Eden of the East trio. What are some other uh, anime you have worked on, and uh, also how you got into the industry and how you got into your jobs? I started in the anime industry when I was 20, and um, I initially started as a uh, background artist. And uh, when I was 28, I uh, made a transfer in my career. I went into directing, and uh, my first uh, directing job was for a. Uh, a title called uh, Mini Pato, and that was my debut. After that, I went into directing uh, Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex and Seiren. <laughs> A uh, show called uh, Seiren no Moribito. And uh, for the past few years, I've been working on uh, Eden of the East TV show and movie. Uh, when I was in high school, I was very impressed by uh, a show called Ireyan, and um, in particular, uh, the, uh, the animator uh, Tomonori Kogawa was my biggest influence from, from Ireyan, so that's when I wanted to become an animator. Uh, so I went to animation school, and then after I finished animation school, I sought a connection to uh, Mr. Kogawa and managed to become one of his uh, uh, protégés. And uh, since my light, uh, in my late uh, 30s, I've been uh, working with uh, director Kamiyama uh, ever since uh, Standalone Complex, so I've been very lucky and happy. Well, in my uh, teenage years, I was uh, working in, live, in the uh, live action field in Japanese uh, cinema. But uh, back then, uh, we didn't have any big titles uh, in, in live action in the Japanese uh, film industry. Uh, so. So um, I sought my career opportunity in, in, in anime instead. So um, I started off in Ghibli as an assistant producer uh, to titles such as Spirited Away, uh, Howl's Moving Castle, <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, I got to know uh, Mr. Mamoru Oshii working on uh, Innocence. And that's where I got to know uh, director uh, Kamiyama, and um, I've always wanted to work with him since since, since I got to know him on Innocence. So the, since my first day at, uh, I, at IG, I um, started working with him. Uh, oh, uh, that was with uh, the title Skycrawlers, and uh, so I worked with uh, Mr. Kamiyama to uh, to produce uh, Eden of the East. I was wondering if you could tell us about your personal involvement on the project and what it was like to work on it. Well, uh, Eden of the East uh, was started two years ago as a uh, production starting on Japanese uh, TV. And uh, this was a, uh, a variation on a standard release where season one was a TV series and the, and the continuation of that uh, was theatrical uh, features. So the first 11 episodes of the story went on TV and then uh, there were the two uh, movie features, uh, one and two. And these were all released uh, in Japan last year, uh, and uh, it was very uh, popular, thankfully. And uh, the American release of this, this uh, series is uh, yet to happen, but I heard that um, a lot of fans have already seen it to uh, good reviews, so I'm very happy to hear that. Uh, for Eden of the East, uh, the visuals were very different from, from my previous works, uh, when we used uh, the character designer Chika Umino, and uh, with, with these different uh, character designs that were so different from Standalone Complex or Seirei no Moribito, uh, it was not hardship, but a, uh, but, but a uh, challenge that was uh, good for me. Uh, today, in Japan, it is, it's become very uh, difficult to come up with uh, good anime because um, since Japan has become uh, well off economically today, um, you, we've run out of things to overcome. Uh, you don't know what you have to but what you have to fight against. And uh, it's this kind of lack of inspiration that is putting us in a stall. But uh, director Kamiyama came up with a very innovative idea of what the, uh, 
Japanese uh, people of today might see as a uh, challenge to overcome. And um, I'm very uh, curious to see how an American audience would perceive this kind of uh, Japanese struggle in this show. Now some of you have worked on the highly acclaimed Ghost in the Shell standalone complex. And I was wondering, <laughs> I was wondering if, uh, if you could tell us a little bit about your involvement on that project and also uh, how it's been since you've kind of completed work on that and uh, if you've had to work a lot with the original mangaka Masamune Shiro and how that, that was uh, working with him. Well, the standalone complex was a title from 10 years ago, that's when production began. And there are still a lot of uh, fans in Japan as well as in the United States who, uh, who still want more of a standalone complex in the Ghost in the Shell. And uh, for myself too, this is a title that I'm very fond of. And uh, so back then, uh, we talked with uh, the manga artist, uh, Masamune Shiro, asked him, uh, what kind of show should we make? But uh, since this was going to be a uh, long TV series, uh, the format that uh, we decided to take was to take on the, uh, the regular uh, um, crime solving cops show, where um, it would have a long running uh, multi episode arc as well as single episode stories and combine that into, into the plot. And uh, after that, we had uh, the second season, as well as the, uh, the feature, and uh, I thought that would be the wrap for uh, Ghost in the Shell. But um, Ghost in the Shell is a title that always comes, that, that produces new uh, ideas and themes that matches the times. So um, over the years, I've come up with ideas that would be fitting for Ghost in the Shell, standalone complex, and it really depends on uh, fan demand and popularity, but um, depending on how much uh, demand there is, uh, new production is entirely possible. Ghost in the Shell was uh, the very first job that I worked with, uh, director Kamiyama, and um, I'm very fond of it uh, myself because um, until then I've never really worked on an anime title that had so a solid story. And uh, Ghost in the Shell was different because it has a very solid story, and as an animator, I was uh, very happy working to uh, work with such a title. And um, I'm very happy that um, it was such a long title that I got to work with, with uh, director Kamiyama as well as uh, on this story.